Good day everybody, this is Madden and today we'll take a look at how to uh, go with uh, auto leveled and with raw maps from Gaia and yeah we will use the base example uh, of Bamarian, uh, one of my latest maps that I created uh, a few days ago. Um, yeah I will use this as a ba uh, base example, uh, we will not texture it, uh, just uh, seeing how this how we handle height maps in um, Gaia in World Painter. So for now we have finished uh, after a long session with many nodes um, our map and at, all the way to the end we have our output node or the last node in, in the tree and uh, are saying okay we want to export this and therefore we have two nodes. So I'm going with the output here to the right, <clears throat> here left output and then um, we need the auto level and I will give you an example of what this will do. So we have the current output which is in a raw state and then if we connect the auto level where you can already see what's happening uh, to this output. So these are two separate outputs. You can see uh, what is happening and I will give you just a, a quick, uh, quick breakdown. This is the raw output and the, out, um, the output with the, the auto level node to this node is the normalized version. So this is exactly what happens when you uh, normalize the output from, um, from your nodes. And it scales the, the whole map from one to zero all the way down. And in raw, you get this map, which seems quite flat, but uh, has a lot of detail preserved and therefore is more recommended. Oh, so, sorry, yeah, um, way more recommended. And therefore we go into export settings into raw. So with this, we don't need this one anymore. We can, <coughs> I will make it quite simply. Um, I, I normally use uh, or use the F2 key to access this, but you can always find it also here somewhere in the menu no, up there. And then I name it height map, auto level, and exp uh, starting to export this one. Um, yep. When done this, we have uh, all of our maps, and these are the two that I mentioned. And I exported also the 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 raw map to give you the indicate or give you an example how to deal with it if you encounter it and uh, how I work with my auto leveled maps. For now, let's go into World Painter. And up here, we go to File, and then Import from Height Map. And you can also con uh, press Control M to have a quick access. And here you go to uh, your wished map of version. So in 1.14, you have more, more options for for blocks in 1.12, it's more safer for um, for order map files, and this is crucial if you have a bigger uh, bigger servers that are running on this map. So now uh, we go with 1.14. We select the folder where the, the map is in, then go to the the map with, uh, we just called and hide map auto leveled. Enter, and we got everything completely placed. And the key differences between uh, the the raw and the auto leveled or the normalized um, map is the values are directly inserted and maxed ma maxed out in this one. And keep in mind, we have here a value of zero for the lowest point and the highest value of sixty five thousand, which is exactly uh, the top. And therefore, we don't have to rescale it. And then, yeah, we can since as a board painter, we can double the size. We can triple the size and yeah, you get the idea. And now, so to handle the raw maps from what, uh, from Gaia, you already noticed um, the, the landscape is completely underwater. We are still at uh, water level 62, but two, one thing has changed and this is the, the lowest and highest value up here. Uh, you can see that there is the number uh, 5,841 and we are going to insert the lowest value 
down here to bottom. So this refers to, to the image. So we enter this one. So we say 5,841 for the highest value. We say 70,083. And then click into a different uh, field and you see the map has been uh, completely adjusted. And therefore we can set okay, render the map out. And everything is good to go. From here on we can texture it and export it again. I did it already for sure, uh, of course. <laughs> and when done this, you can press uh, either um, strg and e on Windows and then hit export down below on the button. Set of course all your uh, parameters uh, um, however you desire. So for example, I have it like this. You can uh, press pause for every single, single one and then uh, yeah, hit export. I did that already and set up a, a whole server. And when exported, you have a beautiful map uh, like this one here. That is completely custom with stones, custom, custom trees, um, yeah, or and of course the map that you designed. I hope this was helpful. Um, let me know what you would like to know um, in future tutorials. I will c cover the most basic stuff for sure, and uh, give you a right a, <clears throat> uh, a rough guidance uh, how to do things in Warpainter or in Kaya. I wish everybody a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.